Hello everyone, this is Michel Sarmento. Welcome to my channel. There is a lot of fashion history, travel, trends, and a lot more. And today we're going to talk about the transition fashion between the 1980s and the 1990s. Before this, before this, before this, before this, before this, clash, first, first. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Hairspray. Hair I've never gone to the hair, hair show. Spray. And that is about this bunch of girls who live in this town who are very conservative. You know, they, this movie takes place in the early 1960s, but this girl is still dressed like very 1950s with the big puffy crinoline dresses. And it was this other girl who was more like a rebel, the, the one. And it was this uh, TV show uh, contest, I think it was a dance contest. And uh, these girls were more conservative, you know, they. they did a very classical 1950s act and this other girl was more like a rebel, you know, shocked everybody with a totally different act. It was very 1960s. Actually, in the early 60s or late 50s, people didn't want to accept the new decade, the new fashion, because they made it from the really bizarre. Actually, people in the early 60s who start to wear like very poppy hairs, you know, the bouffant and like, very heavy makeup and all that, you know, they made it from really bizarre or ridiculous, you know, because the 1950s, you know, was very uh, proper, you know, and, and very conservative, and the 1960s was like a definitely a revolution, we can say. So, uh, I, I'm not saying that it happened exactly the same between the 80s and 90s, but I'm saying it was very similar in the way that people, many people in the 80s, they didn't want to accept the fashion from the 90s. What is that? Because the 1980s fashion hit really well. And when I say hit really well, it was because it was in the 80s thought that the 80s fashion would never go into change, would never go into pass. They actually, if you go back right now to the 1980s, if you go and see 1988, at the end of the decade, you say, you know what, in the 90s, and after that, people uh, no. dress again, like back in the 70s and 60s and beyond. Before that, people would laugh. They would say, no way, because the 1970s and the 1960s are so ridiculous, so old, so retro, that no way, you know, they thought that the 1980s was gonna just evolve like that. <laughs> so that's why I made the, the, the connection it there, great. because it was something like that, you know. Back in, in actually, night, let's go back to 1979, before the, the 80s started, you know, it was, I remember there was a magazine that I bought, because I used to collect, um, old magazines from, from, uh, from the past to see how the fashion was changing. Unfortunately, I lost all those magazines and flowed. But you will remember this magazine from 1979. They were saying what was it in and what was out. I don't know if you remember those magazines that were saying this is in and this is out. In the 1970s, nine, they were saying uh, bell bottoms are out and platforms were out. So, so if you want to be in fashion in 1979, no more bell bottoms and no more platforms. Probably a lot of people still wear them, you know, in the early, probably 81, 82. But the 1980s fashion was really well accepted. Now, let's go back how everything started to transition from 1980s to 1990s. 1988, you will see they started a lot of influence of like uh, palazzos, like uh, pants, you know, like they were white again, like in, in like, in the 1970s, but it was probably more like more like cotton, or you know, polyester, more like uh, with a lot of flow. I mean, it was a little bit different. And they started to also use a lot of influence in their shoes and, and, and hair, you know, like uh, more like 1960s, early 70s. But actually it was not very well accepted until the 1990s. One of the pioneers of the 90s fashion it was the group called B-52s. I bet you know that group is very famous. They use their own style. It looks very like late 50s, early 60s, kind of like that. But I don't think people really copy their style in the 1980s, maybe their pants. But in the 1990s, their fashion was very well accepted. And people are actually start dressing like that. And I remember there, there is a group called uh, Delight. 
they, they got a, a famous uh, hit in 1990. They use a very retro early 1970s style. A lot of people uh, found it really ridiculous the way they dress because they, they say they dress really funky and very different. But actually, you know, they, they were the pioneers, you know, of that new trend of fashion that is starting to become really popular in the 1990s. Women told the ones that in the 90s, they didn't want to dress like in the 90s. It's still would dress in like in the 80s. They were already in like 94, 95, and they were still wet. Or big hair would spray, hair spray, they still do perms because they didn't want to uh, accept the 1990s uh, fashion. Actually, in, in the American horror history, it's called 1984. There's a scene, you know, they're like, like finishing the, the 1980s, and there were people saying, oh, I, I don't want this, this new go-go fashion, you know, like in 1989, 19. It was a new trend, and actually, eventually, you know, people, most of the people uh, end up accepting it. And it's so funny because after that, you know, the 80s actually never came back. I mean, they, there's a lot of trends, they actually, uh, repeat from the 80s, but it never exactly like the 80s. But a lot of trends from the 60s and 70s are exactly the same. So, you mean we can start from the hairstyles for women, you know? And right now, we are already in 2022, and it's still women wear the hair like in the 70s, you know, with like part in the middle and like very straight hair, you know, people don't want to do perms anymore. And if you go back to the 80s, you say, oh, people in a few years, you know, women were like their hair by the middle again with very straight hair. They were like, no way, that's so ridiculous, that's so the past. But you see, that's always fashion. And, and I'm good at predicting that because I was very young and I remember, you know, that I was doing drawings and I was saying, you know, people in the 90s, you know, they were dressed like this and, and they were making fun of me and they were saying, no way, you know, you're, you always like to do drawings like in the past, they said, like, really retro. It's not because I, I was seeing why a lot of people have a good eye for that. And actually, there's a very good artist that had the eye. One of them is Madonna. Madonna is, is just a, a visionary. And Madonna always, if you see Madonna, always see uh, Beyond. So Madonna in the 90s, she was one of the uh, singers, you know, to start, you know, using that new fashion, you know. The fashion that has, you can say, conquered or have governed the world fashion or have uh, survived for many years is the influence in the 1960s and 70s until today. And if you see a lot of trends from today from 22, they're going back and get into the 70s. If you see uh, Gucci's doing a lot of that, Versace too, a lot of very colorful colors, you know. Actually, the 20s, is, I feel it's going to be like a little bit about 1970s. It's going to be a little bit about it. It's going to be a very funky uh, decade. And I think it's more of, of because of social media, because right now people can really see what's going on and everything is more acceptable. Back then, it was only what you see on TV, what you only see in magazines. So it was harder for people to adapt to a new fashion because they were embarrassed to use it because not everybody was using it. They were waiting until everybody using it so they can use it. And today, how everything is more open, you know, you can see everything was going on right now in this moment in Paris and New York. It's a different time, so that's why uh, fashion is becoming really global and more extravagant than in the past. Today, you can just create your own style if you want and, and you can see what people are wearing in other parts of the, of the world. You can just copy that if you like it. So it's, it's, it's a different time. It's, a, it's a more open and, and we'll see what happens. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow for more fashion history, travel trends. This is your host, Michel Sarmento. Until next time.